Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to start this unit in heat. So heat pump in the heating mode. Now, if you've seen my overview, I kind of went over this thing, and I'll, I'll refer you to it by the end of this video. Uh, thermostat here. Air handler here. We're just showing the terminal board and the fan relay there. Defrost board. Uh, outdoor unit and so on. Okay, let's look at it as it before it's energized. We've got a sump heater or crankcase heater that's on here. This is on all the time until the temperature of the compressor reaches a certain temperature and then it opens the crankcase heater. On a call for heat, we're going to energize Y. Now, why you say, well, hold it. We're energizing Y for cooling. No, Y, if you follow Y through, it goes here, here, through the uh, field wiring here, comes over to here and energizes main switch or contact. This is trained. They have their own little words for everything. So it'll energize it whether it's heat or cool. The difference being, when we go back here, this unit is energizes its reversing valve in cooling. So it's not going to be on. This switch here is going to be, the switch one here is going to be in this position. And it's not going to get power to uh, O, so O will not be energized. So... As that Y power comes over and energizes MS, that's going to close MS1. Now you'll notice MS1 is a single pole contactor. There is no MS1 on the other side. So there's a lot of these are set up this way. Power is always available here to the common of the compressor. Now, once this closes, power passes through here. We're not going to talk about the start kit right now. We're just going to uh, talk about if if this was set up in a uh, non-hard start setup because these are optional. Power comes through here, goes over to here, energizes R, and of course C has already got power to it. The power also goes down here, over to here, through the run capacitor, the compressor run capacitor, this is a dual capacitor, and comes over to energize start, and the unit starts. If this were set up for hard start, then the power would go through here, also still goes this way, will come up through the start capacitor, and the start capacitor is much larger than a run cap, uh, it goes through uh, a small resistor that's a bleed resistor so that it will discharge this uh, start cap after uh, it's off. But it goes through the start cap, goes through one of the potential relay, through the normally closed set of contacts to two, down to here and over to here to energize start. Now we're energizing with this large cap, so that's going to be a hard start. The other part of this potential relay is between 2 and 5, there is a uh, coil. That's a high voltage coil. Let's say this is 240 volt. If it was that, uh, a 240 volt, this could be anywhere from 380 to 400 uh, volts for this to energize. So the power would come through here to here. Uh, we've got power coming from start over to here. And as that back EMF gets high enough, then it'll energize this, open the relay. It's usually at 75% motor speed, and it drops the start capacitor out. So we've got our compressor running. Next, we're going to look at the fan motor. Now, power comes down here to the common of the capacitor, and it also passes through the capacitor over here to start. 
And as it goes through common, it also passes over to uh, common of the fan motor. Now, I want to note here, it doesn't really make any difference whether you have common, as this is, where it's hooked up all the time, or you have run that is hooked up all the time. And that's the case here. So the common is actually on this side of the line for the fan motor, and that's okay. The run is energized through this line here. It comes through the defrost control board, and we'll deal with the defrost control when we go through defrost, defrost sequencing. It goes through a normally closed set of contacts and energizes R, and the fan motor starts. So now we've got everything outside running. At the same time, when this thing goes to uh, operate, when Y is energized through this switch here, power also comes down here. Now this is a fan switch. This is a manual fan switch. And if this bar is in the auto position, it's in the on position now, if it was in the auto position, then when this is fed power, it would come down through here, through here to G, to the G terminal on the air handler, which will energize the fan relay, which will energize the fan. Okay, that's pretty much the sequencing of this thing in heat. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, remember, this diagram is a diagram that's a, an operating heat pump. I, it's not the diagram off of it. I uh, drew this diagram so that you could see it better. This is a diagram that is on a particular heat pump, and it has all three sections, thermostat, indoor air handler, and the outdoor unit. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna energize this thing in backup heat. That's all for this one.